Samurai Shaun of the Dead here with Samurai Warriors 4, the latest offering from Techno Koei. Yes, it's time to kill more little humans with a big weapon with some courageous warrior from the Japanese era of war. Yes, you can be Nobunaga Honda, Tadakatsu Honda, Iyasu, Tokugawa, Ranmuru Mori, the Samurai Yangada. I, I'm not too good with the names, as you can tell, but I love these games. I've played warrior games since I was a young boy. Very from starting from Dynasty Warriors 2, and I've played all the spin outs Extreme Legends, Bodyguards, Empires. But Samurai Warriors is one of the few I haven't really put much time into, mainly because this is probably the only second Samurai Warriors game I have ever played. Now, I just want to say, uh, just for certain reasons, I don't know why, but I was not able to record audio while using the share button on the PS4. And this was the same for Warriors Arachi 3 as well. For some reason, they don't want you to record audio, but they're far happy with you recording the footage. So I'm bringing this impression slash review video directly to your face. Now, starting off, I just want to say the story, it's not that good. It's very disappointing, in fact, when you compare it to the amazing and incredible and possibly one of the best games ever, Kesson 3. Yes, Kesson 3. Did you ever play that? If you didn't, then you should play it now. Rather than playing Samurai Warriors 4, I'd rather play Kesson 3 again. Let's put it that way. But in terms of combat, in terms of killing thousands of people with some overpowered warrior, then play this one by all means. Uh, it's, it's certainly fun. It's stress relief to the max. If you've had a bad day at work, I guarantee you're going to tech out your frustrations and anger on Samurai Warriors 4. The character roster is fairly big. You've got about 40, 50 characters to choose from. It's not as big as the Dynasty Warrior games, but the amount of people on screen is huge. In fact, this game has no frame rate drops, which is really nice because I remember the last Dynasty Warrior games had extreme slowdown and needed a bloody patch to get sorted out. But this doesn't, and it's really, really good. And also you have this hyper attack, so you can cleave your way for hundreds of enemies and racking up that KO count to its thousands. But there's more. What? More, Sean? How could it be more? You can now have two characters playable on the battlefield. Now, I don't mean like Warriors of Arachi, where you can just cycle through three characters. No. You can have one character which you can order to go off somewhere else and kill some dude while you carve your way through as some overpowered samurai warrior. It's Ramuru Mori, about to kick some ass with Musu time. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yes, and you can just swap between. So, remember in Dynasty Warriors, where one of your main men was about to die and if he dies it's game over well in this you can send your body to go off and kill that guy while you concentrate on sorting out the matter that you're dealing with and then you can sw hot swap to him and then kill the bad guys it's great and it also makes getting across the battlefield really easier and also can i just say this game has got some fantastic cutscenes, which i've always liked in the Air warriors games they've always had some pretty cool action cutscenes, and this cool guy on the horse i can never remember it's yukimori Sanada or the Sanada something uh, along those lines and that's Mitsuhide Akechi he stabs Nobunaga Oda in the back because he betrays him because he has his own view of what the world should be or something like that but that's all done really well in Kesson 3 I guarantee if you want to have a really good story and enjoy uh, the, the warring states of Japan uh, the story of Nobunaga Oda etc etc play Kesson 3 I cannot I can wait, just just do that. But if you want to go around kicking ass constantly and listening to crazy Japanese voices while playing as some overwhelming hyper power, I keep saying that because that's what you feel like. You feel like a badass. And also, also the women in this game are badasses. One of the characters has blades on her feet and is like a kickboxer. It's amazing. Um, and I've been really enjoying playing this game for the duration. I've played through nearly all the levels now. And not only that, once you've done that, there's even more to do. There's always a lot of content in the Warrior games. And this has you creating your own character. I decided to create Guan Yu from Dynasty Warriors because he's a badass. And then I decided to, you can go around and you have to write biographies of each character in the land um, which I suppose is cool if you want to learn about those people that existed in feudal Japan and all that but it could have been a bit more exciting I suppose but it's pretty cool you get to go around it looks kind of like Total War a really crap version of Total War, but nevertheless, it's an extra bonus thing you can do. And would I say Di uh, Samurai Warriors 4 is better than the last Dynasty Warriors game? Well, to be fair, it's probably on par. I like the Dynasty Warriors games because they're in English. You can understand what's going on. You can follow everything. 
There's a lot of banter in this game. A lot of banter. There's characters always talking to each other, and you're like, what the hell's going on? You only take your eyes off the screen, look at what they're saying, then, it, then it's gone, and then you're attacking no one in front of you. It's, it's, it's very stressful, and, and it shouldn't be. It should be um, something you can just sit back and play. And, you know, with all this stuff on screen, you've got the map on screen, there's constant pop-ups on screen, your health bar there, your KO counter, quickly defeat so-and-so, the names and all that. It would be nice just to kind of chill that down a bit. It's 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 all a little bit chaotic, especially when you've got nearly 200, 300 enemies on screen as well. But I've been I have been enjoying it. I do enjoy this game. Don't get me wrong. It's one of those guilty pleasure games for many people. Some people generally are intensely in love with these games, uh, and they prefer the Japanese voices over the English ones. For me, I'd rather have the English ones just so I can follow things, what's going on, and I don't have to worry about all the text pop-ups because I might be missing something pivotal to the story. Not that it's exactly that brilliant, but still, it could be. I'm just not too sure because I haven't read the entire game. Anyway, that's the end of this review and impressions video. I'm Sean Dead. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!